Cobalt Blue Tane, Dr. Neele Mahendale, belongs to a traditional Marathi family and he's the story narrator of the film. He meets a family tragedy when his elders pass away and the family members decide that the empty room of the deceased should be rented out. So they begin to search a paying guest. Enters a handsome paying guest that joins uh, the family in their residence and Tane begins to develop fondness towards him and starts a passionate secret affair until an, an unwelcoming event hits the family further. Cobalt Blue is a, a Marathi novel written by uh, writer and director Sachin Kundalkar back in 2003 and uh, 18 years later he writes and directs this film which means that uh, the film's creative control is totally in his hands and it is totally okay if he is taking the liberty because he is the author of the book and he is also the director of the film based on his own book so it's totally okay if he makes some changes i haven't read the novel but um, the novelist making the film on his own book uh, gives him total freedom i don't know why but uh, when i was watching this uh, cobalt blue film uh, I, I felt like if i was reading uh, uh, Arundhati Roy's The God of Small Things. I don't know why. So, if you're also getting the same vibes after watching this film, that means that uh, Cobalt Blue has an excellent narrative design. Besides the book, The God of Small Things, Cobalt Blue also heavily reminds me of a famous film, Call Me By Your Name. Similar elements. But uh, surprisingly, none of these copied each other. Call Me By Your Name was published in 2007, uh, four years after uh, Sachin Kundalkar wrote Cobalt Blue. Cobalt Blue is uh, a coming of age drama film, visually striking and very artistic. Filmmakings of such films that gives cinematography its deserve, deserving piece of respect then the detailing of relations uh, look more compelling. The film's biggest plus is um, the chemistry. Two souls melting with uh, eroticism and uh, finding opportunities to quench their thirst. The, the depiction of rawness in the, in the, in the love affair is uh, terrific. One point that is usually uh, not taken into consideration, especially in uh, Bollywood, is that uh, the screen time of the film is not matching with the, the capacity of storytelling. Sometimes the story is short and the film is 2 hours or 2 hours and 30 minutes. Cobalt Blue suffers the same problem. The capacity of storytelling is pretty short because it's a very limited story. There is nothing much uh, flexibility and the film is around two hours. So it looks pretty, uh, pretty lengthy to me and visibly slow. I believe for the feature length film, uh, the most fitting screen time, the most suitable screen time to address your storytelling should not be more than 90 minutes. 1 hour 30 minutes is enough. Pratik Babar as the paying guest was average and uh, all the cast they performed just okay-ish. Uh, but yeah, uh, I can praise for Dr. Uh, Neele Mahindale. He, he gives some uh, terrific performance, especially when there was a breakdown in his character. Emotional, uh, emotional breakdown. Uh, he really performed well. So if you are willing to watch a coming of age drama film that has uh, quality writing about sexuality, then I'll suggest watching this film, which is available on Netflix. Mm -hmm.